are listening to Daily Insights on the 3ABN Radio Network, and here is your host, Casey Butler. Hello and welcome to the program, and I'm so glad you've joined me today because I have a lot of interesting things to share with you. Lately, I've been thinking about angels, and the picture that comes to my mind when I think about angels is of a numerous quantity of white-winged creatures all in heaven around God's throne. They've got harps. They're arranged into choirs and different groups of singing, making music. They're praising God. They're full of joy. They have smiles on their faces. That's probably the, the first initial thought that comes to my mind when I think about angels. What do you think of when you think about angels? Is there a special picture that comes to your mind or a memory or just a thought that pops into your head when the word is mentioned? It's interesting what the Bible says about angels. I read in Revelation chapter 5 and verse 11 and 12. It says, this is John, John the Revelator speaking. And he says, I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders. And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And I guess that picture of what angels are doing kind of reflects to what I was talking about before, how I imagined it. I want to share with you now a song based on this very passage of Scripture. It is sung by the wilds, and they have done a really lovely arrangement of the piece, quite quite grand, and it sort of lifts you into the atmosphere of what it may be like up there in heaven. I hope you enjoy it.
would be amazing one day to be able to sing in a choir like that full of heavenly angels and um, just innumerable heavenly beings. Think of it, thousands and thousands of them. It would just be an awesome experience. It's interesting what the angels were, were singing about in that passage. It was how it mentioned, worthy is the lamb that was slain. And you would think that we could sing that way because obviously Christ died for us. But there is a sense where that is very relevant to angels because Christ's death actually eternally secured the government of heaven. So they um, have really benefited from what Christ did uh, on Calvary too because it vindicated God's character. But there is a sense that the angels can't really appreciate uh, in terms of what Christ did on the cross because they have never sinned, at least we're talking about the, the heavenly angels, and therefore they don't know what it feels like to be redeemed. They don't know what it means to to experience that uh, undeserving grace and favor given to us when we aren't, we know we aren't worthy of it. That's actually the theme of the next song that I want to play to you. It's called Holy, Holy, Holy is what the angels sing. But it contrasts um, the fact that we can sing something that they can't necessarily sing because of our experience of being redeemed. There is singing up in heaven such as we have never known. When the angels sing the praises of the Lamb upon the throne. Their sweet hearts are ever tuneful and their voices always clear. Oh, that we might be more like them while we serve the Master here. Holy, holy is what the angels sing, and I expect to help them make the courts of heaven ring. Sorry, they will fall their wings, for angels never felt the joys that our salvation brings. But I hear another of them lending voices clear and strong unto him who. stand and listen for they cannot join that song like the sound of many waters by that happy blood washed throng for they sing about great trials battles fought and victories won and they praise their great redeemer who hath said to them well So although I'm not an angel, yet I know that over there I will join a blessed chorus that the angels cannot share I will sing about my Savior who upon dark Calvary Freely pardoned my transgressions, died to set a sinner free to help them make the courts of heaven ring. But when I sing redemption story, they will fold their wings. For angels never felt the joys that our salvation brings. 
What I find so amazing and so encouraging about angels is the fact that they are so interested in the plan of salvation and they're interested in getting involved and helping in whatever way they can uh, human beings to experience God's salvation and they are keen to encourage and help people as much as possible in their journey through life on this earth. I have a quote here. This is from Steps to Christ, written by Ellen G. White. And she writes, Angels are ever engaged in working for the happiness of others. This is their joy. That which selfish hearts would regard as humiliating service, ministering to those who are wretched and in every way inferior in character and rank, is the work of sinless angels. I just find that so powerful, so encouraging, because it is true, angels are very often present here on this earth. We don't see them, but they are definitely there, and their activities, whilst we do not realize it sometimes, can have a powerful impact in our lives, and sometimes we get a glimpse of this. And I actually want to share you with you a story, a fascinating story about what some angels did to help a poor lady and her children one day when they were really discouraged. This lady, her name was Luella, and her children, Bob and Myra, they'd had a hard week, especially the, the lady. Her husband had died a number of years before, and her children, who were age 9 and 12, she was having to raise them up on her own and as you can imagine, life can be hard um, in that kind of a situation. Um, and this woman also had had some challenges earlier in her life when she was nine herself. Both her parents had died. And um, so she'd had some difficult knocks in her life. But this week, uh, when they'd had a hard time, one day in the evening, on this was on a Saturday afternoon after they'd had their Sabbath rest, they were just closing the day. They had worship outside under some fir trees and it was amazing because as they were out under the trees, they first started hearing some some music. that It sounded like harps playing and then an orchestra joined in. Following that, there was a choir that started singing and they thought, what? Where is this coming from? It sounds like it's from the tops of the fir trees and they'd never seen anyone go past their place. But it turns out that it was angels and they were singing this song called O Shepherd Divine. And the words were of great encouragement to this lady on this day she'd, after she'd had a hard week. And as soon as the music died down, she went straight back inside and played the music, the tune as she remembered it over and over and over on the piano so that she wouldn't forget it. What's fascinating about this story is that Another fellow by the name of Herbert Work, some years later after this experience that Luella had, he actually composed the piece, O Shepherd Divine. He composed both the words and the music. And he was completely independent of Luella and her children. He had not so much even heard of their experience when he composed the piece. Now, a lady by the name of Mrs. Ida May Morley decided to investigate this story because she had first heard of Luella's experience at a Washington camp meeting. And it turned out that Luella, at the time she was investigating this, was about 91 years old and she was living not far from where Ida lived. So she went and visited her and interviewed her and talked to her about the experience and recorded all the details um, and found out basically exactly what happened. And then she also went and interviewed and spoke to Herbert Work and asked and clarified his experience and also shared what she had found out when she visited uh, Luella. And he had never... That was the first time that Herbert had heard the complete story of what had actually happened with those angels singing. And when Ida also went to visit Luella, she also played and had her family sing... O Shepherd Divine to Luella and that was the first time that she had heard that piece played since the angels sang. So Ida's research confirms the fact that Luella had indeed heard that song before it was even composed and published by Herbert Work which is just totally amazing but it it, it demonstrates 
the fact that as human beings we can be influenced and inspired by heavenly angels and also it gives us an idea about what heavenly angels will sing because we have all the words and the and the tune of this piece exactly as they sang it now if you would actually like to read the full details of this story you can go to adventistarchives.org and click on online archives and then search for the periodical called the North Pacific Union Conference Gleaner. You'll be looking for 1990, the year 1990, and volume 85, number 5. The article is actually the first in this periodical. It's called The Song. It's the editorial. So you'll find it right near the beginning. So, I have a surprise for you about this song, but first, we are going to take a short break. And when we return, I'll take you from the control desk into the studio and share the surprise with you. Did you know the angels were created before mankind was created? In Hebrews chapter 2, verse 6 and 7, we read, What is man that you are mindful of him? or the Son of Man, that you take care of him. You have made him a little lower than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. If angels were created after man and not before man, the text would have read that angels were created a little higher than man. But now we read that man was created a little lower than the angels, showing the sequence in God's creation. As a matter of fact, we read in Job 38 verse 7 that the morning stars who are the angels sang together and shouted for joy when man was created. So angels predate us, but what kind of beings are angels? Hebrews chapter 1 verse 7 tells us that God made his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Angels are luminous spirit beings And they are very powerful beings who gladly do the will of God. We read in Psalms 103 verse 20, Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. So angels are powerful spirit beings who do the will of God. What exactly are angels responsible for? Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14 says that angels are all ministering spirits sent forth to minister to those who will inherit salvation. Yes, God sends his angels to minister to you and to me so that we will inherit salvation. Why not thank him for giving us his holy angels who, though unseen, minister to us daily? I'm Etienne McClintock for Bible 180, where God sets your journey in a new and positive direction. Now, I tried to find a recording of this piece to share with you, but since it's not so well known, I couldn't find one, so I've invited the Fram family to come and sing it for you live. Welcome, Renee and Julian and Pearl. Thank you for coming in today. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Casey. Thank you. Now, just before you sing, can you tell me a little bit about yourselves obviously you sing together so how often would you say you get together to sing we're probably you know usually it's on request you know sometimes in church um and you know sometimes we sing at home just for enjoyment for worship and things like that yeah okay so um what kind of songs do you like to sing we really like to sing hymns yeah because um we really value the words in the hymns and I don't know, we, we kind of think that sometimes they're undervalued. Yeah. And so we really like to sing them. Yep, yep. No, that's great. I mean, certainly a case in point, the one you're going to sing today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since I couldn't find a recording, obviously, it, has, it hasn't been valued or, the, well, at least people haven't done much with it yet. So hence why I'm asking you. What about, how do you like to sing? Like what style? Do you have background or anything or... Um, do you have, I don't know, accompaniment? What, what, what do you usually, usually do? Um, we usually sing a cappella, just the three of us. Okay. Um, yeah. That's great. That's because when we had started singing together as a family, oh, years ago now, must be 10 years mm. ago, um, 
we didn't have any musical instruments. Ah. And we lived in a little country place and we didn't have access to um, music teachers mm -hmm. for Pearl and we wanted her to be able to to use um, music in some way. And the only thing we had was our voices. So we said, well, let's do that. Yeah, well, I reckon it's probably the most complex instrument for music <laughs> out there. So uh, that's, it's a great place to start. Well, I really appreciate you coming in to, to sing this amazing piece of music. And um, I do look forward to your rendition. Oh, shepherd divine, I know thou art mine. Thy search in the night was for me. This bleak world is cold, but warm is thy fold. My shepherd, I follow thee. Thy beautiful lamp shineth bright, O oh my Thy perfect day Through pastures serene Through valleys of green My shepherd I follow thee O shepherd divine I know Great heart was broken for me. Thy grace and thy law I picture in all. They kiss upon Calvary. A life that was given to ransom my soul. Make sinners whole This world is but loss In view of thy cross My shepherd I follow thee O shepherd divine I know Thou me, thy message today illumines my way. The spirit of prophecy, I thrill at thy marvelous love to thy sheep. The Soft and one broad, one fold and one God, my shepherd, I follow thee, my shepherd, I follow thee. Well, I hope you enjoy that rendition just as much as I did. And thank you to the Fram family for sharing that with us today. I just want to leave you with one final thought, a quote from the book Education, page 168. It says, As the echo of the angel's song is awakened in our earthly homes, hearts will be drawn closer to their heavenly singers. Heaven's communion begins on earth. We learn here the keynote of its praise. And I hope that Somehow through the program today, you have, I guess, been lifted up to consider the, the reality of the angels and their work. And I hope that the, the song that they sung, O Shepherd Divine, is also an encouragement to you. And as you take these songs to heart, 
meditate on the words, sing them in your own life and in your own homes. It's my prayer that you are encouraged and lifted up more into the atmosphere of heaven. Until next time, God bless you. Thank you for joining us here on Daily Insights. And I look forward to you joining with me next time. Bye for now. You've been listening to a production of 3ABN Australia Radio.